Hello. <laughs> Children's card games. Who doesn't know them? Who doesn't love them? It's definitely not me. So, do we need a countdown? Do you guys want to have a countdown? Oh yeah. Well, obviously the tech needs that. <laughs> All right. So three, two, one, go. All right, first off, we're gonna put on some options because otherwise everything is super slow and slow is bad because speed. And now we just watch people talk. That's literally it. So, hi, first of all, I'm Mergy. I run speed, speed runs, yeah, cool. Uh, <laughs> children's card games. This is one of the more unknown ones, which is Yu Gi Oh! GX Tag Force 2 for the PlayStation Portable, a device that no one should ever own. And you may know Yu-Gi-Oh! speedruns as the meme that is Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories for the PlayStation 1. This is even more awful. So, RNG is basically the core of every Yu-Gi-Oh! game in general, but the Tag Force series brought it to a whole nother level. So everything we'll have to do in the run is RNG. The only thing that is consistent is the starting deck, and some cards that we pick around from the bottom. So. Also, if you're like a little old-school Yu-Gi-Oh! player or played Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day, you won't recognize any of these characters. We're gonna take Tyranno because he has the Dino DNA and just fits like it's it's a dream team. Well, to be fair, he just has the best deck, that's it. <laughs> so before we do anything, we need to collect a card that is right here to spice up our deck a little bit. Some people are screaming outside, not bad. So, but before we can do anything, yeah, first of all, another card, and now it's time to make friends. Because, hey, everyone needs friends, but can we make 400 friends? So basically what we're going to do here now is we're going to, every single time you increase your score, you get 200 DP, which is the currency in this game, so we can buy sandwiches. Because sandwiches is the only way to properly raise the heart level of your partner. And to advance in the plot, you need to raise the heart level of your partner to 8 for the last duel. So what we're going to do is, we're going to gather a lot of DP with hopefully friends that we make during this game. Which is not going to happen, because no one likes us. And then we're going to buy sandwiches and we just hope for the best RNG possible. Because we only can properly raise the heart level of a partner with a golden egg sandwich that can only appear once a day and it is random when or even if it appears. So that is gonna be <laughs> pretty much the entire run, just hoping for the golden egg sandwich. And I'm already getting a little too high with the numbers here. We wanna aim for like around 6k with this. So you have to always have like an eye on the score that you have. See, I just went from example like from seven to 10. So I missed out on eight and nine which is another DP loss, which is bad, because obviously we want that DP. We also will use the starter deck as is. We won't like really improve it, besides with the cards that we pick up from the floor. For one exception, to make it a little bit more safe in some duels, where I will use two passwords, um, which is back row removal. So if you know the cards, it's Giant Trunate and Heavy Storm. Because a lot of these enemies have really, really bad back row cards, and it gets really annoying. Especially if those are cards that just, yeah, are even more RNG based. Because RNG in an RNG game that does RNG, who doesn't love it? Alright, so we're probably going to do this at up to, say, like 30, 40 people. This is like, we won't see that many duels, so... If you expected a lot of children's card games, I am very sorry to disappoint you. Do we? Yeah, it's whatever. We get time for a quick one? Oh yeah, please go ahead. We have five dollars from Anonymous saying, save the kids, kill illiteracy. Sure. All right, just getting a couple more. All right, we have 20. Or did I already go over that? No, we're fine. Whew. So a lot of the run will just consist of 
Hoping, praying, resetting for the golden egg sandwich. Do a duel. Go to bed. Wake up. Try to get a golden egg sandwich. Do a duel. And that pretty much just eight times all over. With the addition, there is a chance that before we pick up the golden egg sandwich a day, that we can get the uh, plain sandwich, which looks like a card. In Tag Force 2, for whatever reason they thought it was a good idea, that in a plain sandwich you can get literally almost every card in the game. So it can be like from the worst card possible to the best cards possible. So you could... For example, you can get Pot of Greed, you can get the Sacred Beasts, you can get Magic Cylinder. Like, all the good stuff that is really, really cool. But you can also get, I don't know, Haniwa. Whatever that does. Alright, we're gonna do this a couple more times. Like, maybe three, and should be fine. Oh, oh my god. Circles. It's actually really hard to control this game. Especially on PSP. Like, this little control stick, whatever the hell it is, is like really, really weird and sensitive. It's like, ah, never, never get a PSP. Alright, do those like two more times. And then we hope and pray and RNGesus and bless it and whatever there are. Like, so many RNG emotes. Like R and Jesus. But if you want to like know the plot of this game, I have no idea. Like honestly, I have no idea. It's GX, it's weird, it's complicated, it's at some point the writers got really bored. Eh, you know, the usual Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Alright, I think that should be fine. Oh my god, just... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Tyrano also really likes running into you for no reason whatsoever. So we're doing it one more time. And then we should have, hopefully, enough DP for this. So, my actual PB is like 58-something, I believe. Or maybe 56. I didn't actually check. But... The estimate is almost an hour 20, for a very, very good reason, as you will be able to tell hopefully soon. Or hopefully not, actually, depending. So we won't go to class, because, let's be honest, who needs class? <laughs> Just some children's card game stuff thingy. Stuff. So we're gonna grab up some more cards, like Summon Skull. Why not? It's a good tribute monster. Then we're gonna invade the blue girl's doom. Dorm? Doom? Dorm. Take the hidden path. Grab Horn of the Unicorn and Harpy Queen. And then I need my phone, cause password time. So, in the laboratory, there are, well, people. And we're gonna type in some sweet, sweet card codes, hopefully, if I can open them fast enough. Yay. So, wow, I can't. Oh, there we go. Zero, three, two, four, eight. So this will give us giant trunate, which is limited in this game, for whatever reason. No idea why. In Tag Force 1, we actually <laughs> build our deck together with just passworded cards. Because there's a glitch in the first two Tag Force games that allows you to steal cards. So you don't even need to get them if you well, don't want to farm for ever. So in the first game we actually use a combination of... A lot of draw power into Cyberstein, Megamorph, uh, Dark Magician of Chaos, all that good stuff. So those are the only two cards I'm gonna get here just to be safe. Our deck is, isn't actually that bad, but... Better safe than sorry. Tyranno's deck is also really good because it is dinosaur based. Which, for whatever reason, is a very, very good starting deck. And nothing else. So let's put in the good cards here that we picked up. Check our side deck where we will put in... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There's the Greffer. 
then we will put out really, really annoying cards that either make everything really, really slow or are just completely useless to us. Because we obviously want to go fast or as fast as possible, which is, well, partially really hard. So now that we typed in the card codes, we go to the rental counter and this is where the glitch magic happens. So we rent, yeah, two of the limited cards, exactly. We will rent this card here, which is Giant Shrunate. We will put it in our deck. And we go back to the rental counter. So every single time you rent a card, you have to pay a fee for whenever you win a duel while it's in your deck. But we don't want to pay anything because we need that money. So we just go here, select the card menu and empty it. And it's like, yeah, we never, we never rented anything. It's like, thank you for the card. Appreciate it. You can do this in Tag Force 1 and in Tag Force 2. In Tag Force 1 you can do it actually with three cards, while in Tag Force 2 you can only do it with one card at a time. Um, I forgot which other card I wanted to put out. Useless magics, why not? But because I again don't want to pay a fee, I'm gonna do that glitch again. Well, it's not really a glitch actually, it's like a menu option. I don't know why. It doesn't work in Tag Force 3 anymore, sadly. Alright, and now the actual run starts. Actually, I actually hope there's still people in the store. Okay, we're good. <laughs> so we have to save every single time beforehand. In case we don't get the Golden Axe Sandwich. So there are different sandwich pools, and every single different character likes different styles of sandwiches, but everyone universally likes, for one, the cook sandwich and the golden egg sandwich. So we need to raise a heart level for the event to happen. And if we can't do that, well, that's reset. And it's just the fastest to just go for the pure the golden egg sandwich, not just like pumping up with every other sandwich there is. Nice. Alright, that's the first one. So he loves it, he's all over it. And I think we can still do the... Ah, okay, we're too late. Get a sec? Oh yeah, sure, go ahead. We have $5 from Rascal saying, $5 says that everyone has to dub during the run. Also, everyone who waved to Twitch chat, we love you. This goes to the do 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 of course. <laughs> No, please don't dab. I will watch the VOD. If anyone dabbed, I'm gonna find you. We also have $10 from Moro saying, Hi, Mergy. Hi, Moro. Also, thank you guys for actually not filling up the donation incentive because I really didn't want to do it. Alright, so first duel, Dark Magician Girl. She has a really, really good spellcaster deck. And we just hope that she doesn't put out, like, three Magician Circle immediately, summons herself multiple times, into Sage Stone, into whatever, and this is a beautiful hand. Alright. So you can actually hold Circle to not get the activation triggers from these cards. And I can't do anything, sweet. Oh, well, there we go. She summoned herself. And Magician Circle to summon herself again. But thankfully we have a good defense monster, so... As long as he doesn't, ha doesn't have Sage Stone, it's fine. Alright, because they match, I can destroy either of them with Hammer Shot. Alright, I guess... Let's make it even more RNG. So every turn in my standby phase, the Dangerous Machine Type 6 is going to activate, and depending on what I roll, a different effect will happen. For example, this. <laughs> Beautiful RNG. So right now, we're just hoping for some attack monsters. Oh. She's doing it. I think this is actually a good point to use Sullen Judgment. Yeah, it's 4,000 life points, but that's fine. Swords?! No! No! <laughs> oh my god, RNG's working against me again. Alright, let's get rid of the swords immediately. 
because I don't like swords. No, I'm fine. Can I get an attack monster? No. Just stop! This is like... Alright, soul absorption. So whenever there's a spell card activated... Yeah, cool. She gets 500 life points. So in case you couldn't tell yet, this is like the most RNG heavy you can get. <laughs> if you get, don't get anything. I think at this point I'm actually really close to just starting the duel over. Mm, yeah, creature swap will work, but no. no. The only good advantage this game has over, for example, the first one, you can restart these events immediately. So... Let's try again, I guess. Also, this is a single duel right now. You won't see too many single duels. Because the game is called Tag Force, so it's obviously with two people. So, tag duels are gonna coming up at the third event, I believe? The second event is still a single duel. Oh, yeah, good. More stalling. <laughs> So, we have to attack with Berserker if we're able to, because if you don't... It destroys itself. Oh, sweet. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Metamorphosis? What? What are you doing? Take that back. I actually want to get Giant Rat to be killed here, so I can get another very good monster that I can use. Question is... Ooh... Ooh, that's just nice. Enraged Mooka Mooka. For every card in my hand, it gets more attack points. But I will actually play the Panda here, because he has a piercing effect for defense monsters. Oh, come on! Well, so much for the piercing effect. At least now we have board control, for now. If we draw another monster, we actually should be good here. Well, creature swap is not gonna do much. Let's hope that this is it, and she doesn't pull any shenanigans right now. Also, it is very, very, very likely that I will go overestimate. <laughs> Just as a fair warning. Oh no. What is it? Oh, that's fine. It's just a good old Musician King. Oh. Ooh, okay, no. You know what? Let's do... Mm hmm... No. Nice. Okay. We win. Oh, why did I... Oh my god. I'm... <laughs> yep. Totally intended, by the way. Got time for a few? Yes, because we won! <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, we have $15 from Leon Makar. Sorry if I butchered. But Mergy, what does the Pot of Greed do? Well, there is a very simple, simple answer to that. Look at my tier 2 emote and you will understand. <laughs> we also have $20 from Kazadan saying, Hi Mergy! Hi Kazadan. So now the question is, I actually never tried that. But hey, let's do it in a marathon, because why not? Let's try to raise the hard level immediately, because we had to skip the day anyway. Oh yeah, it's school time. So no one is here. Now they're back. Because school is over. I don't know why actually like the people in the shop that work there need to go to class as well, but... I guess they want to learn something about children's card games. Yeah. 
And now we just pray to RNG Jesus again to get the golden egg sandwich. Another ideal situation, like I explained earlier, would be the plain sandwich, but only if we get a golden egg sandwich guarantee. Oh my god, that's annoying. Well, we got the plain sandwich. Oh yeah, let's play Dice Jar. Totally not banned. Alright. So we're gonna do a soft reset here. Just take your time game, it's fine. You're probably gonna see that screen a couple more times. Due to how the nature of this game is. So if you like RNG-based games, by all means, never play this game. Like, there are only a handful of people that run the Tag Force games to begin with. Like, in general. And you should really not do it. You really shouldn't. It's not good for your health. Oh god, here we go again. Alright, it actually does work. Okay, that's cool. But we still have to skip the day now because we had an... No? Okay... Well, just go straight into the second event. There are eight in total that we have to do. So now I believe we have to duel Crowler, if I remember correctly. Alright, cool. So he has obviously the Ancient Gear cards, but if you get a good draw, he actually has no chance whatsoever, which is funny, considering he's like a teacher. Oh, that's, that's a really good draw, actually. So we have some monster removal and some card removal. So let's check his hand out. What does he have? Exiled Force, that thing. Alright. Oh, he has Mirror Force, so we need to watch out. Yep. That's totally not Mirror Force. Um, let's... let's do some RNG here. Coin Flip, if I'm right. He loses 1,000. If I'm wrong, I lose 1,000. Cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Too kind, too kind. Alright, we got rid of the Mirror Force, because the AI is actually not that smart, and we'll just use Mirror Force on one monster. And he also wasted his premature burial for absolutely nothing. So now we can go ham, hopefully. But I think I didn't remember the other card that he had. Oh! Cool, whatever. <laughs> not that we need it. But yeah, now we have still Hammer Shot in case he pulls a random Ancient Gear Golem or something. And we still have Shadow Spell as well. Ancient Gear Castle, wow, that's really strong. Not. So every single time we summon a monster or he summons a monster, he gets a spell counter onto his castle. And then he can use basically one counter is one tribute monster. Only for Ancient Gear monsters. So if he has like two tokens on it, he can summon Ancient Gear Golem immediately. But the I believe the only thing he has for one tribute is Engineer. Or the Gear Beast, okay. That doesn't matter either, though. Also, if Ancient Gear Beast destroys a monster that has an effect, you obviously can't activate it because it negates that. Easy duel, easy life. Crawler gone. And now we go to bed. Pretty exciting, as you can tell. So after a while, Tyranno is just gonna say, hey, go to bed. But... Yeah. Or that. So... 
We had a good good nap. Feel pretty well. We go to the store, wanna get our breakfast. And let's just hope it's golden. Nope. Just pizza. I mean, to be fair, a lot of people had pizza as breakfast this year, do you say? Book of Life copycat? <laughs> see, see what I mean? You can get like the best cars in the game and then mudge and gun. Let's try one more time if it's not here. Yeah. We still need to preserve DP because we still need to get six total. But yeah, other than that, while we're waiting, is there a message to be shot out? Check about shoutouts. I, I want to give you I took I want to give a quick one to View Sonic, who are supporting the event with all monitors for the streaming gallery and a large amount of practice monitors, obviously with minimal la latency for speed and accuracy. They simply get gamers and want to show their support to continue ESA to spread love to gamers in Europe. You actually only have like maybe top three frames for the sandwich, two or three frames, that's it. In Tag Force 1, also depending on which console you play, uh, you can get frame rolls, like a frame rolls over to one sandwich or another. So it, it's getting really weird with these games. But yeah, so far we only missed one golden egg sandwich. Not a bad ratio, I would say. Not a bad ratio. So here the gambler wants to marry Alexis, because, I don't know, gambling? So we have to win the duel that he just goes away, gives Alexis the thing back that he stole from her all these years ago. Which I think is like a red scarf or something? It's story. It's <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh stories, who, who cares? Alright. But the Gambler is actually really, really dangerous, because his cards, especially back row, can give you a really bad time. Wow, he didn't activate anything, and he played Time Wizard. Well, there we go. Please don't roll a three. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> well, guess we have to counter Gamble. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> so now Heavy Storm would be nice, that's why I <laughs> stole it to begin with. But yeah, Blind Destruction, for the number he rolls, the same star monsters will be destroyed. Okay, Giant Trunade is good, but let's power or beef up our field first before we play that. Because this way he can't play new cards, but he still has to pay every round, even if it's just 100. Yeah, slow and steady. Oh god. The counter gamble! Alright. Just setting more up. And then we're gonna play Giant Trunade. Oh no! He keeps gambling. Come on! Another one! <laughs> yeah, he also has second coin toss, so whenever he doesn't get the result he wanted, he can just try again. That was good. That was really good. Well, the game thinks we're ahead, so it's playing like the fanfare music. Alright. Um, let's put everything to attack. Well... That actually should be enough. Well, yeah, it is enough if we play... Return to square one, or back to square one, I'm sorry. Alright. Woo! We win! Only 14 turns! And because we have to go fast, let's just skip the statue. 
Hooray! I didn't die. <laughs> Alright, now the gambler is really sad that he lost gambling. So maybe he shouldn't have gambled in the first place. Get a sec for a quick update? Uh, yeah, please. Uh, so right now, so right now we are missing two hundred and forty dollars from the uh, from the Tetris per se, uh, Tetris Tetris Plus on the final level goal for Puyo Puyo Tetris played played by Chrism. Well, I during the relay I was on Team Fuzzy and I'm pretty angry at Chrism for for Same. him winning. Same. So so I know about you. Uh, I'm gonna I want to make him I want to make him suffer on the final level. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> All right, sandwich time! Yay! If you want to plug anything more, please go ahead. This is gonna take a while. Right here, we have we have a few incent we have a few incentive slash bid wars for the upcoming D and D, uh, which is which will be played by Lodder and friends. So we have a companion name incentive, which and right now Stanry Rule is is winning at fifty dollars. Then it's Lodder at twenty five dollars. Beer Birdie Mac Birdface at ten dollars and Deacon at ni at nine dollars. About the good or even evil campaign bid war, evil campaign is winning, still winning at fifty-six dollars, with good campaign coming second at fifteen dollars. And about naming the characters, the top six names donated in this bid war will be chosen as names for each of the characters in this year's D&D party. So right now, the six winners are Bob Ross, Edward Laser, Sneed, Pepsi Man, Giru Gamesh, and Sipmaster. Go Pepsi Man! Uh, and only Bob had Bob Hades and the Noble are coming are coming in uh, are out. So if are you, you okay? So yeah, I'm okay. It <laughs> it just says the Noble So if you want to, <laughs> you f you keep throwing me off guard here, Margie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, if you want, if you have better ideas, or you want, or you want your, I mean, if you want your your own names to be the part of the this year's D D and D game, so just you know, you can donate. You should. Let's see what cards we get. Ring of Destruction. Here, have a plain sandwich. Let's see if we can get the golden egg sandwich so we can keep that ring. That would be nice. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you, you threw me off! <laughs> My pleasure. Oh, now we're even? I see how it is. You didn't see anything. <laughs> what, what ring? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't wear any rings, I'm sorry. You must be hallucinating. So to preserve DP, I'm only gonna try four times in total to get the Golden Egg Sandwich. To get it first try, obviously. Can always get more pizza, I guess. Oh god, not again. Thank you, thank you, too kind. So, while everyone is in school, I'm just gonna go... Well, here, apparently? So that should be our first tag duel, which is the Paradox Brothers. And as you know, they always rhyme, but we just skip the text because it's really annoying. And we have to go fast anyway, so. So now you will see for the first time ever the beautiful AI that they invented for tag dueling in this game. And let's just hope it's going for our favorite. 
In the first game, if you use Zane as your partner, he pretty much plays everything the exact opposite that you want him to. And suicide is a lot. So we have an okay draw, but Hasselberry's gonna start. Wow. That's bad. Cool. What are these draws? I mean, yeah, he has Jurassic World, but still, that's it. Alright, let's put that up here. Do some gambling. God damn it. <gasps> thank you, thank you. I at least can get rid of the Hex Sealed Fusions. And they will try, for the most part, to get um, the Gate Guardian pieces out. They also use Anti as a card when they have Gate Guardian, so you lose a thousand life points. What is that? Card Trader. Yeah, that can do that. Oh, come on! They can't do that. That negated, by the way. Because it's MST. It always negates. Alright, here we have Jurassic World. So the dinos get our little boost. And thank goodness he played MST. So every single time they draw now, they will get 500 life points. No matter what they draw. Oh hey, I'm all for it. No! <laughs> Give me... Okay. Um, <laughs> if I play Creature Swap now, I'm gonna get this back. And then if I play Share the Pain, I... This is a dumb situation. Please give me my Tyranno back. No! <laughs> well, but to avoid further... Oh my god, no. He's just gonna use the Spear Crane. Yeah, I didn't think that through. So yeah, it's probably faster to lose now. <laughs> Go to Rano! Yeah, we're doing destruction. Oh my god, he used a solid judgment. <laughs> Just lose! So, but now you hear the losing soundtrack for once. Yeah, I'm not gonna pull up with this. <laughs> the heart of the cards was sadly not on our side. But maybe now. Okay. Can we get the triple? Aww. Alright, let's hope that we get a better hand. And Tyranno as well. I mean, he has great dinos. Heavy Storm is very, very good for his turn. Wow. Okay. Okay, so now they're trying to bring out um, all the Gate Guardian pieces into the graveyard just to bring them somehow back with... Um, not Foolish Burial... What is it called? I forgot. Something something grave. I mean we can try to attack with Black Stego, but it's not gonna work, I guess. Oh never mind. Oh yeah. Cool. Same. Okay! So he's gonna try to go over it now. But obviously there's Suijin's effect. That he can use once per turn. And the AI is not very smart, so... Oh look, Anti into the spell card. <laughs> yeah, of course! <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
So hey, um, did I tell you guys about RNG? Okay, let's let's give the cards back. Maybe Tyranno can do something next turn. If not, well, rip me, I guess. Let's use the Rock Spirit and defense. So we pretty much just have to pull up what we have right now because we can't attack Suijin unless we have two monsters. But even then, we would probably lose. Oh my god, he also has Snatch Steel. Why? <laughs> God, I hate this game. <laughs> Alright, let's let's start first. Maybe that helps. Oh, it's the best speed game. That you should never do. Alright, we can summon two monsters now. Because Gilosaurus can be pre-summoned. Please don't have a second mausoleum. Whew, thank you. So with Mausoleum, you can pay a thousand life points to be like one tributed monster. So if he would pay two thousand life points, what he could do is summon like any two tribute mon- two- well, needed tribute monsters. So I'm gonna go all out here, because if we don't stop this madness pretty soon, I think we will go overestimate. Just kidding, we will go overestimate anyway. Alright, there we have Widespread Ruin. So basically they stall you out until they can summon more Gate Guardian pieces. Because they have the really annoying effect. Let's, let, let's not do that. Let's... Oh, he doesn't even have anything. And Messenger of Peace. Who would have thought that the sandwich part isn't even going to be the worst part? I, I can't do anything right now. Absolutely nothing. So I assume we got a while. Yeah, probably. We got two dollars from Anonymous saying, I just wanted to hear the donation reader say, Again. So there you go. I... <sighs> hmm. <laughs> so, maybe like, I don't know, make some food, get a drink. I don't know. Visit your grandma. We're gonna be here for a while. If you say so. Well, everyone besides you. Oh, he actually left. Wow. <laughs> Rest in peace, donation reader. Never forget. So yeah, now they can pay however many life points they want. Ha, but we have Snatch Steel. No! <laughs> really good game, by the way. In case you couldn't tell. Oh yeah, I can... Oh my goodness gracious! Ooh, that's actually good. If the AI pulls a dum dum here, he's actually gonna sacrifice Kazajin for Cannon Soldier. Okay, he didn't. Nice. Only cool side effect of Mausoleum is we can use it as well. Why would you do.
I love the AI in this game. At this point, I'm just calculating like how far are we gonna go over estimate? Two hours. <laughs> Two hours? Okay. This is fine. This is fine. All it takes is like one good duel. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> And Eevee's good. <laughs> I want my money back for this game. <laughs> you know, you would think Tyranno has like a lot of good cards, but apparently he never draws them. And they draw the best cards every single time. Ha! But I can destroy your face down card. What you gonna do now? Back to the start. <laughs> I guess at least we can get some DP during this. <laughs> I never expected this to go that way. <laughs> but then again, it's all RNG, so I don't know what I expected. Oh look, it's Messenger of Peace, I can't do anything. Oh, this goddamn game. Would you go for a game of Pringles after that, Mergy? No. no. Well, I would, and that's and that's actually very fortunate because we, we have a, a donation incentive for the for Pringles. <laughs> Uh, for during Resonance of Fate tomorrow, if we if oh. we manage to gather four hundred and sixty dollars, Neviets will introduce us to the most hyped speed game of ESA Summer 18. I'm hyped for that. Okay, Pringles. I mean, I did some quote-unquote runs of that to get a good time, but man, that's hard. <laughs> Just kidding, super easy. Ooh, we can summon... Ooh, this is actually... This This is good! Oh dear, this is good! This is good! If I could attack with Tyranno. So yeah, Ultimate Tyranno is the only monster that can activate... Uh, can attack, but it can attack all monsters. So I don't wanna... Actually, if I attack now, can I attack with other monsters still? Okay, so no, it's literally just... Oh no, I can! Sweet. So we're gonna lose more life points here, but we're gonna get rid of it. Thanks to Hyper Hammerhead's effect. Yes! Finally in the lead! Alright. Don't screw this up. Please. Oh no. Another spear... Oh, oh no, we, we are stuck in an infinite loop. <laughs> I actually wonder... <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm not sure if they have like any measures for this in place if it goes on for too long. No, it stops! Thank God! So they actually thought this through. First try. That's probably the only good thing Konami ever did. So now, no, what? And we already raised the heart level today. So we're just gonna go back to sleep after that. <laughs> oh look, there's Pharaoh in my room. Which is the cat. Yeah, shout outs to the crowd. You guys are amazing. I love you too. Alright, more golden egg sandwiches. Alright, what can we get? Confiscation band, band. Actually, if we could keep MST. Huh? Huh? No? No? Maybe? Okay, one more try, then I have to reset. God damn it. May I take a second of your time? You can take even two. Alright. So, if you guys want to play, play games that are more or less objectively better, <laughs> you can pop in at chrono.gg. Uh, right now they have Ruiner on sale, which was, run, which was run earlier today on this very stream. For every game sold through chrono.gg, a large part will be donated to charity. This is a site-wide campaign. Consider taking a look and maybe you'll find an, an offer of a great game that suits you. And is better than this one. Did you just say that this game is bad? I did not. Oh, I'm gonna find you after the stream. <laughs> you don't need to look far. Yeah, it's actually just like two meters. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> yeah! So I think this is the time where it starts that we have to skip days to actually trigger the next event. Because for whatever reason, that happens. I believe it's starting like with the fifth heart. Yeah. Sad face, no space. Alright, so we basically go back to sleep, wake up, and go to do that event, or whatever it is. Oh yeah, his dino DNA is triggered. Which, fun fact, now we have to duel Dino Decks. So it's basically a mirror match, and with the difference that they actually draw good cards. <laughs> so let's go first, set it up, and pray to RNGs. That's literally all I can do. But we have to play against deck and deck. Okay, that is actually a good draw. Jurassic World just helps both of them out as well, because as I said, they both play dinosaurs. Okie dokie. Let's see what we can do here. I'll just give him Stray Lamps so he can summon Black Tyranno next turn in combination with Goggle Golem. Because who needs that? Ooh, this is actually really nice. Either she didn't play anything or didn't have anything. Mm. Let's get rid of Permaturtle. 
Exiled Force can be an issue, like if we have a strong monster out, but. Oh, Heavy Storm, totally Heavy Storm. Yeah. Okay, that is a good start. No. Okay. We win. Thanks to Shield Crush. So now we summon in Kendog, attack twice, and this should be it. Oh, thank goodness. Funny enough, that was the actual duel I was worried about. <laughs> Alright, so now we do more gold necks. Okay, we don't. Cool. So maybe we should do donations? I don't know if you can. I can. Well then go ahead. We have $30 from Anonymous saying, Great event as always. Good luck on in the run, Mergy. You seem to need it. Rip estimate. What is an estimate? You ask me? Yeah. I don't speed on games. I don't know what an estimate is. Cool. And also we have five dollars from Ta Tager saying Zane called. He wants his chokes back. <laughs> Shoutouts to Tager who sadly had to leave already before this run. No one wants a tomato. <laughs> All right, just for the oh look another MST. Oh Rainbow Dragon, yeah, let's go. Crystal Beast. Uh, never MST. <laughs> That's the second time. There are even more ridiculous cards that you can get from this, like Honest or the Sacred Beasts, Raviel, Uria, and Hamon. But they're so useless. Alright, no golden egg sandwich here. No problem, wasn't hungry anyway. Oh, actually, that's a lie. We have to get food after this. How about a sandwich? You guys are making me nervous! You can't just put me on the spot like that. Oh, wait. I'm ki I kind of am on the spot, aren't I? <laughs> what was the laugh outside? Jesus. All right, this is it. First try. How about a normal egg sandwich? <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me for the debate. I had to. Hunter dragon, that's not worth it. Sick movement, by the way. Just pressing X all over. All right, this is the first try. The first first try. Easy. to try. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this is like either you can go like every single time you get it first try, or it just doesn't appear at all. Sometimes the golden egg sandwich is shy. Or really, really shy. They also increased the price from the sandwich from the first game from 50 DP to 500 DP. Whoever wants the chop economy needs to be fired. It's just inflation. <laughs> sandwich inflation. <laughs> I always wondered, what actually is a durian? Easy first try every time. <laughs> Alright, let's go to sleep. Oh god, it's Sunday. So Sundays are always reserved for tag duel tournaments that are basically just three duels and then that's it. Oh no, his dino DNA is triggered. He's like a dog or something. Like as soon as he smells something that's like a dinosaur, he's just like, he starts digging holes. Literal dog. Ah, Damon or Damon or Naked Guy, whatever. He plays a deck that consists of pure drawing. That's all that it is. He just draws cards for the sake of drawing. And his partner is in this duel, Jesse, who plays Crystal Beasts. And they are bad, so... That should be an easy duel, and just because I said that, it's gonna be a loss. Alright, we have good attack monsters, which is nice. Getting more life points, which is nice. We can tell he's not the best player, considering he wants to draw, but plays Dekoichi in attack mode. Also, his back row is for the most part just Jar of Greeds or draw power in general. Or Reckless Greed, even, yeah. Nice. So this was before the ruling was that you can have two field spells at the exact same time. Which... I don't really get why they did that, but it's annoying that both field spells count nowadays. So if someone else would put a field card on it while there is one already, it would just get destroyed. Yeah, this is in general like the easiest duel. One thing I can point out, though, is that so far, almost every single Yu-Gi-Oh! game I've played had a fantastic soundtrack. Which is amazing, considering the rest is really, really bad. Alright, let's do that two more times, and then we win, I think. So yeah, Jaden is bored, because he's in Tag Force. Actually, I can raise the heart level, because we had to skip a day. But I believe I still have to go out one more time to change the day because of school? Yeah. Oh. Can't even use the... thumbstick here. Alright. Save, and let's do it all over again. We can also waste a lot now, like 3k probably. Or we could, technically. Because we're only missing two golden egg sandwiches and then it's over. Zombie Master? Ooh. United We Stand is a very, very powerful card. So, let's actually get two more, because <laughs> I really want to keep that. Uh, 
Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, damn. Rare value spell canceler and big bang shot. You know what? Let's just go for one more. Let's go for one more. Damn it! Never allowed to keep the cool cards. Say so, yeah, how about the intro screen? Haven't seen that in a while. Ah, I couldn't even get the debate this time. I'm getting worse. <laughs> Missed it twice. <laughs> and now the golden egg sandwich doesn't want to appear at all. How nice. How nice. Got him. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I just slipped kind of. Well, here we are. Oh, look, the title screen. Haven't seen that in a long time. <laughs> oh, someone is off beat. <laughs> I think you guys deserve a clapper for that. Title screen. <laughs> Almost there, promise. Let's let's hype it up here. He has pizza. He likes pizza. Oh, no pizza. Well, then he's not gonna get it. Are you hiding, Golden Egg Sandwich? Don't be shy. No one here is going to hurt you. I'm just going to eat you. Oh, come on! I like that I don't even have to say anything anymore. <laughs> Venomi Naga and Six Samurais, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. No debate, no debate. Arm dr Shining friendship? First you get a goddamn armed dragon and then friendship. Yeah, Mirror Force would be a nice card to keep. <laughs> you know what? Let's go one more. <laughs> Come on, 
game. Never allowed to keep the cool cards. Never. Also ripped the friendship. Never forget. <laughs> We got $25 from Anonymous saying, Our Lord and Savior needs to rise onwards. Glory to Brap. Koitsu. Nice. A blue naked guy. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Alright, so we're still looking for the golden egg sandwich. Alright, I got this RNG minute. Maybe next time. <laughs> For sure. I mean, first try, obviously. No, seriously, where is it? It's gone. Did they patch it? I don't agree with this whatsoever. Let's create some cars instead. Like a snake lady. Oh, come on! First try, let's go. Thank you, thank you. First try, woo! All right, his dino DNA is on work again. Alright, second to last duel. Also, we're gonna get kicked out of the girls' doom. Doom? Dorm. The second time that we're gonna get kicked out now. But yeah. Masha and Disa have even more annoying decks than the Paradox Brothers, so. Because they play Monarchs. <laughs> and they play really annoying Monarch decks. So let's just hope we can actually go here somewhere. Alright, nice. Please Hammerhead, please Hammerhead. No. Oh, okay, Nobleman. Cool. I can't do anything. All right, let's see. Ooh, okay, that is bad. So Royal Decree just negates all trap cards. Every single one of them. It's actually good though, because they play also a lot of back row, so. Yeah. 
At least so far we didn't see any big monarchs yet, at least. Which will probably change next turn. Could, could you stop? Alright, let's see what we can have here. Mmm, DD Warrior Lady. So sadly we have Enraged Mooka Mooka in our hand, otherwise we would have played that, obviously. <sighs> Alright, good, bad, maybe? At least, at least, now we can use these cards to summon Rock Spirit. I don't want to use Enraged Mooka Mooka yet. But hey, I always am up for a gamble here. Nailed it. Alright, I'm pretty sure that is DD Warrior Lady already, unless it's the other person. No, it is DD Warrior Lady, okay. But it was worth it. So now we just hope that they don't have like Stray Lamb, Snatch Steel or something like that into like Mobius, for example, or Ryza. Okay. That's fine. That's actual fine. Nice. Okay. One more turn, then we should have this in the bag. Please, Arn Jesus. <laughs> no! No, don't do it! Okay, it's Zob work. Come on, Snatch Steel. I don't even have Snatch Steel. Yeah, we're lost. Rip. Just one turn game, come on. So yeah, I'm sorry for Chrism to go overestimate, but hey. That's what you get for defeating Team Fuzzy. Something Tyranno. <laughs> Something useful for once, maybe. What? I just want to click quickly announce that we are now officially overestimate. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, so let's 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 put everything back to where it belongs. Bring out our doggo, and then definitely have to get rid of solar. F oh, I can't because there's another fire monster in the field. Oh God! No! Hey, a thousand life points left with a dust tornado in the back row. This is going to be the Paradox Brothers all over again. <laughs> Basically, first try, right? Yeah. All right. Come on. I mean, no. No. Okay. 
She could have summoned straight into a monarch here. Thankfully, she didn't. And we're gonna definitely destroy that token because I can't do that. Cool. <laughs> What does it even do? Whatever, let's just attack it. Nailed it. Oh god, it's Spirit Reaper. We're doomed. I'll just pop in quickly. We have yeah. $15 from Anonymous. Thank you, Anonymous. And also, since this is going pretty well, you guys have even more time to fill up that donation incentive for 300, 360 Chrism to play Tetr to do a Tetris Plus on the final level in Puyo Puyo Tetris. We are, all, we are only $235 away, so get on that. You should. Find another one. All right. No. Okay. Why did he exactly only have this? The, ah, <laughs> Video games, by the way. Yes. Okay, so just a quick shout out to one of our partners, Elgato, who are supporting ESA for the who have been supporting P ESA for the past three events this year with four streaming pods on the back of the main streaming room, allowing attendees to stay connected with their community and bring their community a part of ESA. Are they are also supporting the event with multiple prizes, supporting the charitable cause. Oh, and also we got $30 from Anonymous. Thank you, Anonymous. Shout out to that Anonymous guy. I love the guy. Okay. Okay, question mark? Yeah, sure, let's attack. Let's find door number one. UFO turtle. Oh! She can't do anything with it. Okay, one turn. <laughs> just one more turn. Again. Just, just, just one. Oh no, 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 Well, I guess we can welcome Chorus level eight. Run, Mooka, Mooka, run! Ooh, well, no, that doesn't work, because we can't use any spell cards. And now, we can't use any trap cards. Um... Um... I can't, I, I can't do anything. We need a stronger monster right now. Oh, he has enough cards! He has enough cards! One more turn. I swear it's for real this time. Uh oh. If you're mirror, ha ha! Even if you are mirror force, I don't care. Let's go, Milo's Radiant. Ah, <sighs> thank goodness. I'll just take a second here. We have twenty-five dollars from Anonymous saying, "Been losing sleep all week trying to catch all these runs. I know it's worth it, though. Good luck to all the runners and no rips." We also have five dollars from Space Lacings saying shout outs to Umaru and Brop. What does it even mean? Don't ask me. 
Okay, I'm not sure if I got a golden egg sandwich already today, but... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, no, we didn't. We couldn't have. Alright, so basically the last golden egg sandwich of the run. First try, we believe. Everything was first try so far, I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> what? <laughs> Avatar of the Pot of Greed. Okay then. Pizza. At least now we can use all of the DP that we have at our disposal, so... At least something positive. Ha! <laughs> Skill Dark Magician is a very good beatdown monster, and swords are really annoying, so I'm all for it. Come on, Dorothy. Dorothy. Are you serious? I think she's serious. We got one dollar from Jack Atlas saying, where are the motorcycles? How am I supposed to do like this? P.S. Red Dragon Arch for Arch Fiend is cool. Stardust Dragon is for nerds. <laughs> Five Ds. What a time to be alive. Oh, suddenly Tyranno is like... There? Is he selling sandwiches now? Ooh, Silent Magician level 8. Sadly, we can't use her, but. Because we don't have Silent Magician level 4? One? I, I can't even remember. Any second now. Yeah, sure, whatever. Any second now. Hey, almost. Any second now. Wow, two banned cards, really? I was one frame too early. <laughs> well, that was a good sandwich. Come on. <laughs> Goddamn frame perfect tricks. It's not even a trick, I just want food. <laughs> All right, Tyranno, give me the good sandwich now. <laughs> Some ham, for example. We were ahead of the schedule anyway, right? Right? Yeah. Alright, the creator. Can he create a freaking golden egg sandwich, please? Thank you. Ha! <laughs> 
Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't want to give it to us. Kaiba! Ham. See, some salad. You know, diversity. In a sandwich. <laughs> okay. Victory Dragon got like banned the day it came out, I believe. No, it says Konami. You want to... Okay, so Tech is asking how long this will take me. I have no answer. Depends on when I get the golden egg sandwich, then maybe like 10 minutes. Max. Jabated. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Any second now. This run will prevail, if you want to or not. Chimera Tech Overdrive. Sure. <laughs> oh yeah, here. Oh, he likes carrots. Good to know. Oh, look, there it was. Oh, wait, what did happen? No, oh, shit. This is a nice venue. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the other runners on stream, too. Besides Chris. <clears throat> Okay, a noodle sandwich? Really? This is getting crazy. Come on, just one more sandwich! Where's generic mad scientist when you need him? <laughs> Maybe for some context, he does a lot of research for Yu-Gi-Oh games for whatever reason. And he's like one of the only people that, for whatever reason, invests time into this as well, so... When's Golden Axe Sandwich manipulation, by the way? I think Dorothy doesn't like me. Never run this game, by the way. It's a horrible mistake. It's okay, I'm just gonna pull a Kuro and be exactly 20 minutes after the estimate. It's fine. Oh, 
Can we like motivate the game a little bit, you know? Oh, we got Exodia, we win. <laughs> cards first maybe okay pizza minute oh gourds yeah sure if you know the normal trading card game for Yu-Gi-Oh, Gortz was something. Let's go to an active volcano. Alright, very last duel. <laughs> it is about time. For whatever reason, he has an alligator on his back. Don't question it, it's Yu Gi Oh! And he's called Jim Crocodile Cook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a gecko and a crocodile met at a volcano. Nice. Not nice. No. No. Oh, it's just Claudians. Oh, it can't be destroyed by battle. Well, let's not destroy it by battle then. Hey, look, I run a Claudian deck now. God, this card sucks. Great Hammerhead is a really, really annoying card. I love it. Oh, Hyper Hammerhead even. Sorry. Oh, Yomi Ship. Okay. All right, we need one more turn. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but yeah, time comes up when we see the you win screen. And time! Shoutouts to the crowd for being amazing. <laughs> now we're just mash through real fast for credits something. Yeah, ESA is over here. So yeah, now we get some weird victory screens. My dino bone isn't pulling. Just Tyranna things. But yeah, that's it. That's the any percent run with Tyranno as a partner. 
Again, shout outs to the crowd for being fucking amazing. And again, never touch this game, ever. Just leave it where it is, I will never touch it afterwards either. Just le leave it where it belongs, in the trash. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the run, and hope you're gonna enjoy all the other runs. Enjoy the rest of VSA, guys.